Hey guys, this is Brett here with the Tuning School, and today we're going to be going over the downloads page on our website. So the download page on our website is something that we offer our customers that makes your life a little bit easier when you go to Tune. There's lots of information that's located on this download page, but most of what's there is actually HP Tuner's layout for the 3.0 software. Now, what this means is, is you can go to that downloads page, download layouts for, let's say, a GM Gen 3 vehicle, and then you could go ahead, open those layouts that we defined, and start tuning the vehicle. So we're just going to go over how to find this downloads page on our website, and then how to pull the files from it, and open them in HP Tuners. So here we have the homepage of the tuningschool.com. So when you go to the tuningschool.com, it's going to pop up. It's going to look just like this. From, to get to the downloads folder from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to About. We're going to select Downloads from this drop-down menu. We're now at the Downloads page of our website. Now, from here, we're able to download uh, whichever layouts or whatever documents that we may want from this folder. So what we're going to do today is we're going to download these GM Gen 3 layouts. Now, don't be alarmed that only Gen 3 and Gen 4 are in this video. We're adding these constantly, and we'll soon have more there. If at any point you need something that you don't see uh, in this downloads folder, then feel free to contact us. More often than not, we're actually able to get you the files that you need. They just might not be on here yet. So we're going to download each of these files for GM Gen 3. So we're going to do master layout. We're going to do graphs, charts, and channels. You can see it downloaded them down here at the bottom. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and close our internet browser. We can actually open our file explorer here. So now that we've done that, we're going to go to our downloads page, our downloads folder, <clears throat> and you can see we've got the files that we've downloaded. So what we have to do with each of these is we have to extract them. And so when you download them, they come in a zip file. If I was to double click on it, it would open it in this kind of a format. This is not really helpful for us and what we're trying to do. And so what we have to do is we have to actually extract the files out of the zip folder. So to do this, we're going to right click, select 7 zip and we're going to select Extract Files. Now, I choose Extract Files because I like to pick where I want this to go to. And so by doing that, I can click this arrow over here, select Desktop, and then click OK. So it's now moved that folder to the desktop. You can actually see it came up down here. So we're going to do this for each of these. We're going to select 7-Zip, Extract Files. We're going to go Desktop. Now, you don't necessarily have to extract them to the desktop. You can choose to extract them to wherever you want to, but I like to have them on the desktop because it's very easy for me to find them that way. But again, it's just preference on what you like to do and how you like your computer to be laid out. So now we're doing the master one. Right click, 7-zip, extract files. We'll select desktop, click OK. Now we've got them on the desktop so we can actually close the Window Explorer now. So now that we've got everything we want here, Let's try and open one. So let's try and open our master. If I right, if I double click on it, and then I double click on the file here, it opens it in Internet Explorer. Now this doesn't look helpful, and this is definitely not HP Tuners. Now the problem here is, is HP Tuners has defined these files as an XML document. When your computer sees this XML document, it tries instead of opening in HP Tuners, it tries to open it in Internet Explorer. This is not a problem. It's not a big deal. What you have to do is you've got to go to the scanner and then open the files that way. So at this point, we'd be able to open each of those files that we just downloaded, but we have to start by doing it for the, through the scanner. Now, if you don't know how to open the files through the scanner, then click this link here, and we will go through that in another video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything that's located on our downloads page or how to get any of the files off the downloads page, then just contact us at 727. 264-8875. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to follow us on social media.